going to show you how you can make this really cute chevron stitch. I've just done a sample piece but of course you can make this as big or as small as what you wanted. This piece that I've done actually would make a really nice scarf. I shall leave all the details as to what colours I've used on this particular project but what you're going to need is your yarn. So I'm going to be using the Stylecraft Special Decay in silver. I'm also going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors and also a darning needle to sew in any end. So first of all you want to figure out how big you want your piece of work to be. Now what I've done here is actually done two sections here. Each one of these V shapes consists of 25 stitches. So this is 25 and this is 25. So however many of these you want that you will need 25 stitches. So as I say, I've used Stylecraft Special DK and a 5mm crochet hook and from here to here, which is one section, is just a little over 4 inches, just to give you a rough idea. But obviously that will change depending on your tension and your hook size. So to start this tutorial, you're going to need to make your slip knot and insert your hook. So remember that we're working in multiples of 25. So you just want to create your chain to whichever length you want. So you do that by yarn over, pull through for one chain, yarn over, pull through for two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through five. Now don't make this chain too tight. So you notice as I was moving up, I was moving my fingers and that makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to start off by chaining 50 because I'm just going to do two sections um, in order to use this as a sample piece to show you. But you chain as however many you want to for your particular project. Pause the video and I shall meet you back when you've done. Okay, so I've just chained 50 and however many you've chained, you are always going to need an extra five. So one, two, three, four, five. This is to cater for the fact that we need to turn in certain um, sections and we're going to lose a few stitches as well. So we're now going to work our way back across the opposite way. So we're going to skip the first chain and then work into the second chain. And we're going to be doing a double crochet. Now double crochet is the UK term. This stitch is called single crochet in the US. So you want to insert your hook yarn over and pull through. So you have two loops on the hook and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And we're going to do exactly the same thing into the next chain. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to do this on every round when we first start. So we've got our first two stitches there. We're then going to skip the next chain and work into the one after that. So skip one chain and insert your hook into the next chain. And you're just going to do another double crochet in there. So this is going to count as our first stitch again because we're then going to start working our way up towards the peak of the chevron pattern. So that's one and we're going to do 11 of these. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. So we're now at the peak of the chevron and in the next stitch we're going to do three of these stitches in the same space. So one, two and three. We're then going to work our way back down by doing 11 stitches along this chain, one in each chain space. So 
so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So at this point we're at the um, base, so this is the peak, this is the trough. So what we now want to do is skip two chains in order to then work our way back up the, the pattern. So if you remember at the start we only skipped one. Whenever you're in the centre of the work you would always skip two. So if I just show you this, um, at the beginning we will skip one. Any troughs in the middle of the work we will skip two and at the other end we will skip one again and that will become clear the more that you um, work up your work so so you've just done your 11th stitch there you want to skip two and then do a double into the third stitch along and that leaves you with a gap so this is one and you would do 10 more in order to make 11. So pause the video and meet me back when you've done 10 more stitches. So I've just done my 10 stitches and to make the peak in the next stitch we are going to do three double crochets all in the same space. So one, two and three and then we're going to work 11 stitches all the way down to reach our trough again. So pause the video and work 11 stitches. So I've just done my 11 stitches and now I'm ready to work my trough but remember at the ends we only skip one stitch and then work two doubles into the last two stitches. So one and two. Then what you want to do is chain one and you are just going to turn your work so we can work back along the opposite way. Now your first stitch will be in the very base of this chain one, so just here, so insert your hook and that's one double crochet, insert your hook into the next space and that's two double crochet, we're going to skip the next one and work into the one after that, so skip and then work into the next one and this will be the first of our 11 so one two three pause the video and continue till you reach 11 so once you've worked your 11 stitches you'll be at the peak so what you want to do is do three double crochets into that one space so that's three and then you're going to work your way back down for 11. So pause the video, work your way back down to the trough and I'll just remind you what to do in that section. So in this next section after you've done your 11 stitches you're going to miss two stitches and then work a double into that third stitch along. And that will be the first of your 11 stitches. So it's quite an easy pattern to get once you get the hang of it. You just have to remember um, that it's slightly different at the beginning and at the end of the row. But I'm just working my way up to the peak again. With my 11 stitches. And then once I reach the peak... I will then do my three trebles in order to start working my way back down again. Okay, so I'm now at the point where I can do my three trebles in this space and then work my way back down counting 11 stitches. 
So pause the video and I'll just recap once more what to do at the end. So once you've got to the end, remember that you will only skip one chain and then we're going to do a double in this stitch here. And sometimes the last stitch is pretty hard to see just because it looks like it doesn't look like a proper stitch. But all you need to do is just pull it slightly and insert your hook underneath. You might just have to give it a wiggle just to get your hook under both strands of the stitch. You just do your double in there. So you would just chain one, turn your work and you would start your stitch into the base of where that chain one is for two stitches, one and two. Skip one stitch and do 11 stitches all the way up to your peak. So it is a really easy pattern to remember where a lot of people go wrong is this side section here. If you don't get this right, then it will end up either going in or going out. So you just remember you always do your first stitch at the base of the chain, one space, so one and two, and only skip one chain. So that is how the pattern works out. The more you build the pattern, the more apparent it will become. As you can see, this here, it looks like it's twisting and bending, but when you get to about the sixth row, that's where it really starts taking shape. So I've actually done six rows here, one row of each of these colours, and then this is three. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos, and I shall see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.